Hello, welcome or welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be trying out this Speedball Super Black ink because the other day I went to my local art store and I got both of these um, in celebration of Inktober since I'm not drawing every day. I just wanted to try it out since I haven't done these inks in a while. So I have paper towels and I have water. So let's just see how this goes. I did a couple sketches um, over in school, obviously, um, over, here, where did I, I, I wanted to start on this page specifically, this was a sketch I did, um, let me make sure, yeah, this is a sketch I did, um, in school, and I erased most of it, because I was, um, in the counselor's office, so I erased most of it, and then this is another character design that we're also going to line, focus, okay, <laughs> so we're gonna start on this one, well, I have to open everything first, but we'll start on this one and then we'll get to him in a second. So let's open this. Okay, so I've never actually used this type of ink before. I've only used India ink. So wait, I should probably read the back too. Hold on. That's not in English. Uh, keep from freezing, clean tools using soap and water. Okay, cool. Um, so. Let's shake it, because I know you're at least supposed to shake it. And also, I got these tips. Let me just move this. <laughs> it's very chaotic. Um, so, let me see. So, these have smaller tips, and they go with the smaller one. And then they have the bigger one, and it goes with the bigger one. Okay, cool. And I promise, I will not lose these. Definitely not. Definitely not. Also, I finally... Oh, I finally got over being sick, so, because I was sick for weeks, it was like horrible. So now that I'm finally not sick, I actually get to talk, like my voice is back. Okay, so I have these two. The thing is that I'm kind of scared about is that, um, here. Okay, so there's six here, technically. Um, one thing I was scared about is that in the past when I've used these, oh, it already has a mark on it. Okay, um, when I used these in the past, I actually broke them because I pressed down too hard on them, so one of these was going to be my practice page. Yeah, we'll just use this, because this is my warm-up page, so we can just use this as a practice page. Hold on, this probably has a seal I have to open on it. Makes a very nice noise. Oh, I'm going to get ink all over my hands. No. Ooh, it's bubbly. It's probably because I shook it. Hold on. Also, I want to look at Speedball had instructions right here. So we'll look at those in a minute after I'm done <laughs> getting ink on my hands. That probably won't end, especially since we're inking. <laughs> okay, I really, I'm really excited about this because I haven't used traditional inking in a really long time here. Let me kind of move it so you can see. Okay, so we have this. I forget. Okay, and then I have water. So we have this. It kind of just, from what I see, it covers like cross hatching techniques, um, ways of showing depth and color, and lettering? Yeah, lettering. And like how you're supposed to hold the pen. But I kind of want to figure that out on my own. So we'll see if we come into any troubles with it. And okay, I guess we just go at it. I'm going to try the smaller one first this tip yeah 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 okay and it just goes in like that and I've seen like a little bit of it here let me add a little bit of water just because I know when I used it before I put a little bit oh, okay there's ink on there <laughs> okay let me just try and like whoop, whoop. oh that's so cool oh my god wait that's so cool ah. Wait, that's so cool, oh my god. Ah. It's very smooth. The one I bought before wasn't smooth, like, at all. Oh, and you can do, like, varying lines. Oh my god, wait, I love this so much. And I think, yeah, I did add a little bit of water to it, so it did make it a bit gray. But, oh, that's cool. I want to try the bigger one now. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus. So we're going to first be testing them, and then I think with this one, I think with this one, I'm going to be lining my dude on the other page. You can't really stick the entire thing in because it's very foamy. 
Oh, that paper fell. Okay, so it's just, I hate this drawing, so I'm just gonna draw over it. Oh, that's so gentle. I'm trying to see if I can vary the line weight. There's a lot of ink on this one. Oh my God. It also might take a minute to dry. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I'm kind of just going to jump into it because, oh, this is still drying. Okay, we'll wait till this dries and then we'll go to the next page. Oh, I found on this sheet, oh, let me move this water. I found on this sheet, like, all the different pen types. Oh, you can't even see. All the different pen types. So actually, you have, like, it actually shows you each, hold on, I'm so bad at showing this. Okay, basically, it shows you the different pen types. So this one that I just had on was, what's it called? O? I think it says O or C. Because I don't have my glasses on. Shit. But, yeah, it, I think, oh, it's upside down. It says 40 for drawing fine hunt. Is that on here? It's fine. It, it, we'll figure it out. It's okay. But I think I'm gonna try, I think this one's the smallest, but I'm not sure because, again, no experience. So I could just compare it. Like, this has a cross shape on it. So technically it's like this one. Okay. It's fine. Is this done drying? Oh, it's kind of done drying. Okay. Okay. So it kind of dried. I, I kind of like dabbed it with my hands a bit so they got all like icky. But other than that, we're going to do this one first. I'm going to start with the eyes just because. Here, hold on. Let me make sure I have ink on here. I can... Here, I'm going to put it in. Okay. Ink. Don't splash, please. Okay. I think think that's okay i should have had like a test page where i could just kind of like hit it and then and then go to it okay hold on oh first line oh i really like how you can see like this one's very thin and very scratchy that's very nice it's very smooth can you see that it's it's very smooth i actually really like it zoom in Oh, hold on, I got it. There we go. Okay. But as you can see, it's just, it's very smooth. I really love the texture of it, honestly. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I love line art <laughs> so much. I just don't do it very often because I got my iPad and I started doing more digital stuff and I don't really like line art on digital to be honest that's why do I have I might I might but I think I might take them off um my commissions are open but the thing is is that I think I might oh here I'm gonna color this I might take off my pure line art commissions because oh that's kind of fucked up it's fine we'll fix it he just has a solid black eye now <laughs> um but basically um, I don't think my line aren't strong enough to stand on its own yet, because I really do, like, I really love it on paper, but digitally it's just so different, so if I were to ever sell, like, a print, it would definitely be, like, my line art that I scan in, obviously. This is so nice. I'm so happy about this. No, because it's like, it's like, oh my god, it's so smooth. And, like, I don't spend money on new art supplies very often. Like, I got these first, oh my god, it was like a first genera generation Ohuhu marker before, um, you know, the whole shutdown, <laughs> the whole quarantine. Um, like, I got it before then, my friend bought it for me, and it was just so nice. And, like, they were just the, the fine tip, and then it had the chisel nib. And I used those till they died. It was, like, the smallest part you could buy she had a box and then I had a box and it was like it was so nice um I don't really use alcohol markers anymore but this glides so smoothly oh my god one time when I first got the alcohol markers um I did 
since I was also experimenting with dip pen at the time, I did dip pen and then the alcohol marker and it bled everywhere. And then I tried to do the alcohol marker and then the ink and it was like, oh, that's slightly better, but you know, it's still weird. It's still, lo it was so bad. It improved a lot with like faces, obviously, but just looking back at like, oy, it, it was such a mess. I'm gonna, I wanna give you a birthmark somewhere. Usually I just give my characters, like, the birthmark where, like, Vash's stampede has it, where it's, like, under his left eye. <laughs> but I kind of want to just... Yeah, let me get a bit more ink. This is so nice. Oh my god. I kind of... I think I based it off multiple sketches I found on Pinterest of, like, Genshin characters. But I tried to, like... It's like, oh, it's not fully Dotori, it's not fully, like, any character... Because I gave him soft eyes. I didn't want to give him, like, his weird, his weird maniac eyes. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with maniac eyes, obviously. Oh, I really like that line. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I gotta, like, shape it like that. Like, oof. Like, oof. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so it's like, it's that. <laughs> It's, it's nice, it's just you gotta, like, angle it right. And obviously, like, still practicing, haven't warmed up. Oh, I haven't warmed up today. <laughs> it's fine. But, oh my god, school's been so, so rough. Senior year, very rough. Don't like it. But, oh, it's so nice. The pen. <laughs> um, so, I really like this. I'm gonna use this way more often, oh my god. Because I had, I think it's over here in my other art supplies, I had this brush that was like, I used for line art with my India ink all the time. I used it all the time. And the thing is, is that I used it all the time, but then it like started to get frayed. So I stopped using it. Um, it was a lot during like, um, what's it called? Like two years ago, two years ago, I did a lot of watercolor. So, oh, okay. I got a whoop. I did a lot of watercolor, so, um, India ink doesn't make the, like, it doesn't bleed into the watercolor, or at least the, like, part that I got didn't, so I would use it, and then I would let it dry and stuff, and it was, like, so pretty, and I would have these bold lines, but I would also have the subtlety of, like, dimension with it, um, and I kind of grew out of that, sadly. <laughs> I could talk forever. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I really like, because when you put down a line, it's not, like, so exact. It's not exact because I'm not, like, this is, again, warm-up. It's, like, woo -hoo -hoo, loosening the wrist. But it's also, like, it's nice to not have it, like, oh my god, it's so... Th I love thin line art, too. Like, just, I need to stop. I keep going up on the brush, and it you're not supposed to do that. So that takes some getting used to. But I give all my character's curly hair oh oh okay so this is dry I did like a thin layer with like the face so I put my hand on it but it didn't actually wet it so that's good and then I remember I had this issue I bought speedball before like a couple years ago and the thing is is that it kept it was so like icky it was so I think it was ex I don't know if ink can expire or something but it was like so icky all the time and it was just horrible, but this is, like, great. This is Speedball Super Black India Ink. Oh, it's India Ink. <laughs> I didn't even read it before I bought it. <laughs> because my local art store doesn't have many supplies, but they have, like, the good stuff. Oh, my God, the Microns there were so expensive, but I really wanted them, but I couldn't afford them. So this is, like, a treat for myself. Oh, I love the scratchy. I love the scratchy sounds. That's really... That's why I bought it. <laughs> no, um... Oh, and you can do, like, a bit of hatching. I think this is the best... I'm gonna overuse this so much. But that's so nice. Because I started keeping, like... I haven't kept, like, a normal sketchbook in a while. So, this is a nice change of pace. Oh, it's so... Pr I love this so much. I'm so happy. Even though it's, like, not the best drawing, it's, like, still, like... I love, like, the texture of it. I want to try to vary the line weight just a little bit. So that, like, um, 
um, adding line width here was okay. I think I just need to regain control because it's like, I don't have a ton of control. But like, like letting the ink out in like a second manner and not just having it look like two lines. I think it's drying. Hold on, let me wash it. Water. Okay, and I'll rub it on the towel a little bit. Let this work and then back into the ink. Okay, that should work. And then I want to go over the eyes a little bit more just because they're pretty. I love that scratchy. It's like scratchy scratch. I think I don't want to ruin him though. Oh no. It's it's fine. We'll probably just do one or two of his sketches over here and then and then we'll be okay. Because I can let this dry because I'm going out later so I can just let it sit and let it dry. And it will be okay. <laughs> scratchy scratch. It's very nice. It's a very nice texture and it goes on really smoothly. Um, maybe every dip pen is like this. I don't have enough experience to actually review it. Um, but from like what I know about using brushes to ink, I actually like this like a whole lot more. Because I feel like it's more consistent I don't have to like try because when I would ink in like with just a paintbrush it'd be it'd take me so long it'd take me like so like many hours just because I was so consistent with like the line oh it's slightly risen off the paper so it's like it's textured that's nice um whoop, whoop. I think also when it dries out a little bit you can get like a nice texture with it so that's also really cool um, oh, I kind of wanted to find this a bit more. I think if I planned out the sketch better, because this, again, like, it was a very weird kind of hands-free sketch. If you planned out, like, the sketch better, then it could be, like, very nice. <laughs> like, if you, like, when you draw curls, sometimes, like, you have, like, it goes deeper, and then it goes thin, and then deep, and then thin. So, it, like, it could look super cool. It's just, I'm not. <laughs> we can, we can see it about that. All right, so I moved it where the dude we just drew is right here. He's, yeah, he's right there. And then we have the ink. We have all the other, there was like a total of six tips. I, I'm pretty sure. And then let me put the water right here. Okay. All right. Um, I really love his design. I'm gonna do a couple. I'm gonna mostly do the body first so I can warm up with the body and then do the rest of him. But I'm gonna be hyper focused. Hyper focus just means focus. I'm okay. My brother keeps tapping the door. I don't know what's going on. It almost sounds like it's ripping the paper, but like, oh, it's not, obviously. <laughs> like, I've had dip pens rip the paper before, but this isn't. This is, I think, a moleskin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I've used moleskins before. I'm pretty sure this isn't my moleskin. Because so I have like five others <laughs> that I finished like in middle school. They're not good, but they're good for like practice at least. I think I kind of I kind of shifted away from bound sketchbooks because it was like, oh, they're kind of nice. And I like how you can kind of like do stuff that's like across the page. Um... But it's also, oh, also, I started to try them after my ring, my spiral sketchbook. It started, it just kept ripping. It was horrid. It was so annoying. Um, and it was easier to carry it around school when it was just, like, bound. So, like, that's, like, a good thing about bound. Oh, yeah, when you put it in the water, it, like, makes a circle. Okay, there's kind of a lot of ink on here, but that's okay. We can... We can deal with it. I'm trying to vary the line width, which I think is working. Just get the folds in his clothes. Now I have to do this really long. Sorry, my chair squeaks. Um, I gotta do this really long. Oh my god, I didn't draw his hand. It's fine. It's fine. It was just a school sketch. It's okay. 
I'm trying not to push too hard down on it so it doesn't like catch on anything. Yeah, let me. Oh, that's so nice. I love this so much. One thing I kind of don't like is that like when you have these edges, like it kind of looks shaky, but I think that might just be me. It might just be like how the ink bleeds on this specific paper. And and maybe like I don't have enough ink. Hold on. Okay. Like that that's the thing cuz like I don't know enough to be like, "Oh, this ink is bad." <laughs> like it's just kind of like, "Oh, I'm practicing." Like I like this so far and I've always loved his so wet. It's just uh well, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I can trace this knife now. Yeah, part of the paper started coming off. Hold on. It, like, it scratched it, like, a little too much. Ah, that was... Oh, right, that was my issue with the moleskin last time. It was, like, scratchy, scratchy, and then, like, at these specific parts where I started to bold in it, it was, like, kind of like, uh-oh, because it started to pull up part of the paper. Um, well, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm just gonna finish it, it's fine. Because I love this sketch, so... Oh, I never finished this part. That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. <sighs> I think if I got, here I'm gonna continue to draw while talking, but I think if I got like a better paper, cause this is kinda, also my hand's like incredibly shaky, that's also probably reasoning behind it, is like paper texture, paper weight and stuff, cause I know this is only 110 pounds. I have paper that I can work with, but it's more, I, oh my god, I only like, this is warm press, I'm pretty sure, which is the smooth kind, if, I think if I'm remembering correctly. And cold press is the riveted, oh, it's ripping up the paper again, um, is the riveted kind. I only liked cold pressed. So now I just have a ton of cold pressed paper and no warm pressed paper. Because I like doing watercolors on cold pressed paper because I like not only the texture, but like how it like makes the colors pop. I don't know. I think it makes the colors pop. I like the way it blends, basically. Um, but I think ink like this would do better on like smoother paper. I don't have any smooth paper. It's fine. Oh, I love th I love this part where you can just. I also think the lines got thicker, but that might also be how I'm holding the pen, like slowly getting more used to it. Like here, hold on. There we go. Those are something in lines. That's how I want to line his face. Also, going quickly with the lines, not. So I'm angling it so it's kind of like that. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, I actually, so now a lot of ink is getting let out. Okay. Just being gentle, not releasing too much ink on this kind of paper. He's actually, he's actually pretty fun to draw, so. <laughs> His simple lines probably help. They're probably easier with the pen, to be honest, because sometimes when I'm doing them with microns, it's... I don't have thin microns. There we go. Okay. Oh, and then he has these lines under his eyes. And then... Oh, that's very subtle. Like those lines, I like those a lot. Um, and that actually kind of goes with like him going like that. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna add like a little more water just because I'm gonna do his little birthmarks. I love drawing freckles and birthmarks on all my characters. I just think it gets, it gives them like I don't know, like, an extra feature that's original to them. Like, so, yeah. Also, I drew him looking like a wet cat here. <laughs> that was fun. Um, so his eyebrow goes like that. He's got chunky eyebrows. 
the one thing is that when I was drawing him originally, his hair was so hard to draw. Like, this one wasn't too bad, but the roundness of his head just got to me so badly. And I was like, oh my god, this is horrible to draw. Oh, that was a good line. But you need that, like, constant kind of, like, smoothness. It's very obvious if you mess it up. My friend thinks it looks like a, like a mini explosion. I, I love that saying. Also, hair piece. I put the hair piece with everything. Um, so he does have a piece of hair that sticks out in every single panel. Oh, I love the sound it makes. It goes like... Pew, pew, pew. So, okay, that's good. And then I wanted to cover that into there. There we go. So I noticed that like smaller lines are okay, but when you start to So I just kind of want this to be a chill video because, oh, I don't know how this reacts with water. Like I haven't done, um, it's hard for me to sometimes get out videos, but I really want to make an effort to consistently do them at least because hobbies, you know? Also like making more art, obviously. Um, also, this weapon is a cleaver, so we're going to be lining that. But I also want to get my portfolio together because college is coming up for me, and also I love talking about art. I'm just going to try and add a little more texture. Okay, so then I think we can, oh, no, the ink dripped out, ah, it's on my hands, it's on my hands, ah, if you didn't see, wait, can you even see, yeah, it's like, oh, I didn't see it, it dripped, hold on, let me put water, oh, okay, <laughs> um, did not miss that, oh, okay, here, we'll start on this one once I clean this up a bit more. Okay, so technically, I let it dry for a bit. <clears throat> I got a snack, so I let it dry for a bit. I got a snack, um, and this actually bubbled down the ink. So I think it's going to be easier to apply now, actually. So I hope it didn't dry too much. I didn't leave it open. I just left it to sit and rest. Oh, I really like this. I love how manga style it looks because, oh my god, the other day I actually bought, um, hold on. <clears throat> the other day I bought new manga. Well, I've been pirating Witch Hat Atelier for a while, um, but I went to the Barnes and Noble the other day and, with my friend and we bought like a ton of manga like um, Welcome to Demon School Irumakan and then also Witch Hat Atelier. And I wanted to get, like, one of those, the process behind, like, one of the movies. Like, um, what's it called? Uh, there was, there was a couple Studio Ghibli, oh, hold on, it ripped the paper again. There was a couple Studio Ghibli, like, books of, like, creation and, like, stuff. But it was kind of just screenshots from the movie. Oh, ink on my hands. It was just kind of screenshots from the movie, which was kind of disappointing because I like seeing the character design process. Um, but, like, it was so rainy the other day, but we ended up, the cashier was very nice, um, and we, we basically walked around the store. It was a very nice store, but it was just, it's kind of weird because I haven't gone to, like, a Barnes & Noble since before quarantine, so it, it was kind of weird. Um, his nose is curved, but, yeah, it was nice because we got to buy a couple books, and I bought... Um, oh wait, I can actually go get it. I got my stuff. Okay, so I got the- oh my god. I should have planned this better. I got this, which is just a no face plushie. It's so cute. It's so- I love this so much. Um, I got a mushroom mug, which if I have a photo I'll show it, and then I got witch hat atelier, <laughs> and I got, um, uh, Hanako-kun. I got book zero and book six because when I tried to order all the books at once, they didn't come in. So I'm glad I actually got them now. So that's that's good. Oh, my ink dried. Shit. 
But yeah, so I had like a super fun day the other day, but the one thing I like about Witch Hat Atelier is like all of the line art is so pretty. Like every single, um, I don't know what the author uses to illustrate, but I want to know <laughs> because everything looks so like cool with the line art. And the hair, the hair looks awesome. Let me just, just scratchy scratch. All right, that line was a bit thicker, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, the ink kind of, <clears throat> the ink, it's got all over my hands. So I had to clean up for a sec, but I think there's still splashes on the table. He has this scarf thing that I keep refusing to draw. It's, it's probably fine. But I'm having a couple more issues with the paper because like right here, it's like, oh, it's a really nice thick line. But at the same time, it was made because like it caught on the paper. But a couple seconds ago, hold on, there's literally ink here. <laughs> Very messy process. Do not recommend for people who do not have a black desk. Um, or paper towels under you. That could also be good. Um, so like that's good, but like it caught a little bit. Oh no, slight water. It's India ink, so it's okay, but it smudged the pencil. Um, I want to see the physics of his handkerchief, but we might not do that today, so we might just go like whoop, whoop, a whoop, a whoop. There we go. That's good enough. It's fine. I like keeping my sketchy lines in there. There we go. <clears throat> Still getting over my cold. <sighs> so, oh right, I forgot the, maybe I can add like a, wait, ooh, that would be actually a pretty good idea. I'm gonna add like a little bit of water to the ink so I can do like these gray lines cause he's meant to be wet in this image. So, <gasps> no, it was flesh. Okay, so one thing I also noticed is that sometimes I put way too much ink and water into, like, the pan thing. <laughs> so I took, like, the paper towel and I dabbed it a little bit, and that kind of helped. I'm really focused. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah, I did his birthmarks on that one. So, tiny birthmarks. I love his eyebrows so much. I love all my characters' eyebrows. I try to give them all either big or unique eyebrows. I just love drawing that. Which way does his hair go? <laughs> like, I know it... Okay. Because, like, my sketch is not... Oh, I'm running out of ink. My sketch was not very... Like, it was a very light sketch. Here, let me remove some of the ink that's in the barrel. The barrel, that's the word. Oh, it looks like he has a receding hairline. Let's fix it. See? It's fixed. Okay, and then... Honestly, this is probably... I like the side angle of his handkerchief more, because I think I messed up both of these. So, oh my god. And the hand is nice, too, that I drew here. Let me just not fuck it up. Oh, this has got some of the paper in it again. It could also be the towels I'm using. They're very, like, fabric. They have, like, a lot of fabric fibers. Perfect. All right. <laughs> and then the thumb. And I don't know if he's wearing a shirt here or not kind of didn't think that far because I kind of like I defined his arm just so I know what it looks like my friend th drew his ass because I usually ignore that I usually just make my characters flat because with asses I drew a little diagram I was like sometimes they just kind of look like they're wearing circus pants when I draw them asses so 
decided not to. <laughs> and then these are more of me and their doodles. So I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to erase the pencil lines. So this is what it looks like mostly erased. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and thank you for letting me show you my process. And until next time, thank you.